So why don't we talk a little bit about the sort of secondary, sort of the, the, uh, the story inventories that we did. So story inventories, as we talked about, is really a way to organize some of the way that you sort of structure and think about the story before you start writing it. So we spent some time last week talking about them. And again, kind of the, the goal this week was to have written up a couple or organized a couple. What was the experience of starting to organize some of the content in that way? Anyone have any success or failure doing it that was helpful, terrible? Any thoughts on using the sort of the story inventory structure at all? Was it helpful? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just to that point, the reason that I think doing story inventories is so helpful is because it sort of reduces the enormity of the entire project too. So the work that you've done, nearly every word that you've written in this inventory is likely to go into the story. And so if you write up something in a descriptive way, write it so that you could put it into the story. What you'll see tonight is how we'll actually do that one. But I would tell you to this point, like, it's not like make work, right? I hate the idea of make work. But if you're doing it the right way, you're thinking about the structure of it, you're pulling in the real quotes that you would use, you're writing descriptive elements so that it makes the story writing process easier. You can basically take a story inventory and write, you know, again, a thousand word story in probably about 20 minutes if you do it the right way by being able to have all this stuff there and just structure and organize as you'll see tonight.